Hello, today we're going to do a video around the Keystrack B4 jaw crusher. We're just going to do a walk around to show you the features of this plant and what makes it a decent jaw crusher. My name's Bert Hart, I'm the tails team leader here at Equip2 Screening and Crushing. So we'll start with the area which the operator spends most of his time at. Um, this is the, the brains of the machine, so the PLC. Um, everything can be run from here. So we've got an emergency clearance, the e-stop clearance, start the machine. Then we're gonna either press auto start and the whole thing will start up in sequence. We're gonna adjust our jaw settings from here where you can liven up the auxiliaries. But in the main, a lot of it can be done from our remote control. So once the engine started, we can hop in the excavator, press auto start. The whole plant will run up in sequence and we can adjust our feeder speed, our pre-screen speed. We can adjust our jaw settings while it's running. So it's the only machine that will do that live. Um, so if our product's coming out of it a little bit too large, um, we can close that and we'll see the close side setting on the little screen here. So the great feature about the remote is um, also means that you're not hopping off your excavator, coming down to the controls to make your changes. So it's just minimising that risk of breakage your leg or um, any health and safety incidents. It also means that we can track the machine while in operation. So we can, while it's running, we liven up the tracks on the two top buttons, hold that in for 10 seconds, which is a safety feature. Once that's live, we can then track the machine forward or back, um, particularly if, you know, if your loaders aren't keeping up with the, uh, with the finished product, we can just move the jaw back a little bit so we can continue processing. So we've also got in here the uh, corded remote. It's in the case of the battery runs flat on this. But we have got spare batteries. There's a charger through this little box here which is charging the batteries all the time. And we've got our, um, our water suppression unit here. So we just plug a hose in and that suppresses our dust. Mainly if likes are doing concrete or in higher dusty environments. So we're now up on top of the machine, overlooking the, the jaw box. The size of this opening in the jaw is 1100 wide, by true measurement is 800 deep. And as you see, this jaw, the moving jaw, comes right to the top, so it's live right to the top. The previous models were about another 200 mils below. The reason that we've lengthened that is to minimise any blockages that can occur of a, of a big rock entering the chamber. So these jaws are called a Keystrack non-stop jaw system. The way that works is there's a couple of big cylinders in behind the jaw, and that enables us to adjust the close side setting while we're on the fly. And in the case that there's a piece of steel, like a, a track, track roller goes into this chamber, um, it'll sense that pressure, and it'll open up in three increments. And then finally, if that object is too big, that'll close down the whole jaw. The reason for this, it means that the plant, um, you don't damage a toggle plate. So with a keys track, you should really replace the toggle plate from um, breaking the toggle plate. So it's got its onboard safety system. Now in the case of a hard rock application, you might say, well, we get some rock that's very, very dense. But th that is true. So sometimes you'll get a big, heavy, hard rock in there that'll open the close side setting enough to be able to keep that momentum of the jaw going. So the non-stop jaw system um, is a lot more consistent than the traditional wedge style, um, and overall it gives us better production. So to change our jaw plates, um, it's a matter of undoing these top wedges, and that's for both sides, and it's only a matter of about a half a day to do a full set of jaws. And on our feeder, our whole feeder slides back about 800 mil, giving us access to the fixed jaw making it a lot easier for our fitters. And in here is our magic eye, so that's to give us the optimum jaw filling sense. Um, we optimum level is about 70%, and that can change between different products. So in concrete crushing, you may have a big blob of concrete going in there, but you still want the jaw to be running, so you may lift that up to 80 or even 90%. So when the jaw does come up to that height, our feeder automatically stops, the very back feeder, and then the pre-screen, but it doesn't stop to a zero 
it'll keep dribbling in the material, so keeping that jaw full. So the delay time in the start and stop isn't too great, um, that it's waiting for the jaw to be completely empty until it starts putting more material back into it. Now over a period of a day, this can equate to you know, a 100 tonne difference in production. And as you see in here, we've got our dust suppression unit that's, um, that can be turned on and off, and just to suppress the dust over top of the jaw crusher. So we're now standing in the hopper of the B4. As you can see, this beast has been clad with Harlox 450 grade. Um, that's something that we bring in as standard. So, um, we believe that we want this machine to last out the distance of its life. So we're not having to come in here and re-skin the hoppers. So on the feeder, this is a linear feeder. Um, you can see here that we've got Harlox lining here as well. So that's easy to replace. And then we're dropping onto our double deck pre-screen. So this pre-screen's 2.3 meters by um, 1100, so a very decent sized pre-screen. Um, Keystrax always believed in a, in a pre-screen on these bigger crushes, so that we're actually removing as much fines as possible um, without having to send it through the jaw. So there's no point in crushing something that's already 60 mil minus, um, you might as well just bypass it through. And the other reason running a double deck is um, we can put a, at the moment we've got a 20 mil mesh on the bottom deck, and that's, that can bypass out the side belt or go in through underneath. So some proven production rates we've had out of these pre-screens alone in an alluvial application is around about 150 tonne an hour. So if you're wanting to pull off some concrete metal but crush your oversize, it's actually a, an excellent solution. And they're also being bolted down it makes it easy to interchange. So rather than having the Bofa bars, um, which is a fixed size, this here gives us a lot better option. And the punch plates also give you a lot more screening area. So they're optimizing that, that full 2.3 by 1100. As you see also on the side of the screen box here, it's got um, cladded with hardox as well. So just making it a lot simpler for repairs and maintenance. So we're now here up on the catwalk, um, having a look at the engine bay. As you see, we've got very, very nice open access. There's also a door in that corner and a door in the other corner there. So we can check our water, check our oils, and then our air filters. So with the all key strike machines, they're running a load sense hydraulic pump on them. So that's a, a piston pump over against a gear pump. And the reason we've invested in such a high quality pump is the gains that you get and the fuel savings. So likes of this, this unit here runs in about um, 19 litres an hour for fuel, which is very, very good for such a big machine. In comparison to that, a lot of machines that are running the uh, gear pumps are sitting around about 34, 36 litres an hour. So over a period of 12 months, that's some massive savings in fuel. And that same hydraulic system also enables us to be able to um, change our belt speeds um, and also track while in operation. So that, that, that system alone gives so many benefits and just outweighing the extra cost that you invest in that. Like most machines, we have the magnet belt fitted on the unit. Um, obviously this is mainly for uh, recycling applications. But it's also important so that we're pulling out any steel particularly if we're feeding into a secondary crusher like of a cone. So this here is a little bit different to other designs. This is a single pole magnet, so it's sending all the energy to, to one point, and we can lift it up and down with the hydraulics. So in the event where you may get a bit of blockage or bird nesting, we call it, of reinforcing, we're able to lift that up. And while we're on that subject, underneath here on the main conveyor of the keystrakes, that section of frame is actually made of stainless steel so that is not always pulling on the magnetic fields of the magnet so over a period of time with a magnet if you're always pulling on the likes of a mild steel the the lifetime of the magnet actually reduces because it loses its magnetic forces so up in here you can see we've got a hinge point um, that conveyor slides in underneath here just minimizing our length of our transport so we're here now on the, the pre-screen conveyor. That's a 
decent sized stacking capacities and running a, an 800 belt. So it's giving us that ability to be able to produce that up to 150 tonne an hour. So then moving on, we talked to you earlier about the sliding hopper. So you can see here, it's got these drop eye bolts. So we drop them down and then the whole hopper can hydraulically slide back about 800 millimetres. So that means we can get in behind and access our jaw bolts. So we're not working in confined spaces. And then we can also change the bottom mesh of our pre-screen. Just making that access so much easier and a task that we actually want to do rather than being something too hard and we want to avoid. So the other thing you'll notice on a lot of Keystrack equipment is they've got stainless steel hydraulic lines. Now, the reason for that is not just ease of uh, maintenance, so you're replacing just a short hose, but it also dissipates a lot of heat running through a steel line over against the rubber hose. So we're not, with the hydraulic system that Keystrack have, we're not creating that heat anyway because we're not running through flow restrictors, but we are dissipating a lot more heat through running steel lines. It also means that our hydraulic reservoir doesn't be, have to be so large. So we look at that, how that's going to reflect for your cost, it means that servicing costs are going to be a lot less. So a lot of things were talked about, like the hydraulic system, the non-stop jaw system, the pre-screen, these features all added together do make a, a fair investment, but it's all about how this plant and Equip2 is going to increase your profit per tonne. So thank you for watching.